Western Digital, best known for hard drives and networking? After the release of the wildly successful WD Livewire, their Powerline networking kit, Western Digital, I guess, went back to the drawing board and went, okay, well, maybe we should do some other networking stuff. And they have a very complete lineup here today. So we've got the MyNet switch, the MyNet N600 router, the MyNet N750 router, the MyNet N900 router, and the MyNet N900 Central, which is a router with storage built in. Now, those numbers refer to the wireless speed. So these are all concurrent dual band routers. This is 300 megabit plus 300 megabit, 300 plus 450, 450 plus 450, and 450 plus 450 with a built-in hard drive. Now let's start with the most innocuous of the members of the new MyNet team, the MyNet switch. What's cool about this one is that it's pretty much an 8-port gigabit network switch, but it has dedicated ports that are labeled according to the priority of the network traffic that you want to go through them. So there's two high priority, four medium priority, and two low priority, depending on which devices or computers you have hooked up to the other end. Now the MyNet N600 is the most basic router in the lineup. This one is, as I mentioned before, dual concurrent 300 plus 300. It has four 10100 network ports. It has an internet port. And because Western Digital is a storage company, all of their routers are equipped with USB ports for adding storage to your network. The N750 upgrades from the N600 in a couple of ways. So number one, it has four gigabit ethernet ports to go along with its WAN port. It has two USB ports and it has that faster wireless networking, so N750 as opposed to N600. Now both of those last two members of the family feature WD's Fast Track technology, which is basically firmware updates that Western Digital will roll out to the devices that will help it dynamically and automatically prioritize traffic for applications like Skype or specific games that have the bandwidth demands that will basically cause them to not perform adequately if there are other devices on the network that are sucking up the bandwidth they need. When you step up to the MyNet N900, you get not only the faster wireless speed, a built-in seven port gigabit hub, or rather switch, you get two USB ports for storage, a WAN port, and you get Fast Track Plus. Fast Track Plus does not rely on profiles. It dynamically and automatically detects, according to the type of network traffic that's coming through it, what that kind of is. It reserves bandwidth for it and ensures that if you've got a Skype call going on, it's going to go, okay, they're going to need at least this much, sets it aside for you. So you'll never even run into issues where it takes the router a moment to realize what's going on and then reallocate the bandwidth to you. So you get those, those, those leg spikes and then, and then steadiness and leg spikes. You will have constant bandwidth allocated to you as you need it. Last but not least, the MyNet N900 Central reduces the number of gigabit ethernet ports compared to the N900. We're down to only four. Also, only one USB port. However, there is a built-in one terabyte or two terabyte hard drive inside that can be used to back up Windows PCs, to share your data with you on the go using WD's apps, and it can even be a replacement for an Apple Time Capsule. Rather than going with that particular product, you can use the Western Digital one. Now, the apps are compatible with all the routers, which all have storage expansion. You're going to want to use a MyBook Live if you want to enable all the functionality because regular, just any old hard drive won't necessarily support it. So what's the point of all of this? Because just about anyone can take a wireless chipset of a given speed and hook it up to some ports and put it in a plastic housing and release a router. It's not rocket science. I mean, okay, it's more difficult than that, but it's, WD can do it. You know, companies like that can do it. But why did they do it? And the reason has more to do with fast track and quality of service than anything else. WD believes, and I think they summarize it pretty well in their packaging, seamless entertainment, effortless entertainment, all that good stuff is what they bring to the table by dynamically and automatically prioritizing your most important applications for you without seeing disruptions in the service you're getting from something like a Skype call where you see the, the quality degrade or something like gaming where you see your pings jump up or even something like Netflix where you see your streaming fall down to lower and lower tiers of quality as someone else is torrenting in the next over room. So all of these products are based on delivering an easier, more seamless quality of service experience with all of the other 
other features, you know, your N600s, your N900s, your gigabit ports, your storage built in, that's actually kind of unique as well, that you've come to expect from a router, even their switch is all about prioritization with those dedicated higher priority and lower priority ports. So thank you for checking out this video on the WD MyNet series of products and I'd love for you guys to subscribe to my Linus Tech Tips channel as well. We're going, we're going to be doing a real world investigation into whether Fast Track Plus, which is what's on the N900 series routers, actually works and will prioritize better compared to a Linksys EA4500 in a real world testing environment. Thanks for checking out this episode on NCIX Tech Tips, introducing the new MyNet routers and networking products from WD. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.